What's going on YouTube? GSNode right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save the OTA blobs for the iOS 10.3.3 for A7 devices. And the reason you're going to save this is for future downgrades. Apple is currently signing the iOS 10.3.3 for the A7 devices, or at least for the A7 devices that came with pre-iOS 7.1.2 when they were released. And these devices can still fetch the OTA blobs in order to update to iOS 10.3.3, which can be jailbroken with double helix. So it's a firmware for which you would like to have the blobs. Unfortunately, this will only work for the A7 devices, which as I said, iPhone 5S is one of the um, A7 devices. And you can check out on the iPhone wiki, which devices use the A7 chip. So what you need is actually the TSS checker created by Teamstar. And you can download the pre-compiled binaries for the Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. Uh, you press in here and you get it. I already have it and you will need this uh, JSON file, which is condensed and it's pretty much containing the uh, links for all the uh, files for OTA, whatever. You're going to need this because normally the TSS checker would download this, but there is a problem in the uh, TSS checker and it can't fetch the uh, the file properly. So we will have to help the application to do that manually. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to open a terminal and here in a terminal, let me actually make this a little bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pretty much download that file. Uh, and in order to do this, I'm going to create a new folder that I'm going to use for the entire video. And this folder will pretty much be uh, blobs a seven and I'm going to use my iPhone 5s which is an a7 device for this purpose okay so now the command that we're going to use in order to download the file since we can't really get it from the browser as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and whatever it's not downloading the full size of it we're going to use wget so in the terminal you write wget uh, by the way this command also works on Linux it's not going to work on Windows though you will have to find another method to download that file so wget and we're going to write P dash P in here, uh, capital P by the way. And now we need to get the path that we created, put it in here, and now uh, go ahead, sorry, I opened the trash, and take this link that will be in the description down below and paste it in here. This will pretty much download the file to the specified path. So as you can see, it pretty much does that. And uh, for some reason it goes a little bit slow, but it did work. I'm going to clear out everything now. And if we check out, there should be a file called condensed. That is 23 megabytes in size. So um, I'm going to rename it to OTA.json. Okay, add. And now the file should be uh, okay. Now I'm going to show you why we need a file. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get the, um, the file from here from Timstar's uh, repo. And it's the TSS checker, drop it in here. And uh, I'm going to extract it, the TSS checker for the Mac OS. Well, it contains the binary for all of them, actually. And you can see you can't actually open it. If you drag it in the, um, in the terminal in here, it's going to tell you that the permission is denied. You can fix that by uh, changing the permission. So CH mode, mode, 775, go ahead here on the uh, on the folder where you have that and take the uh, mac os binary in this case and run it through that now uh, it should have changed with the uh, terminal logo and we should be able to open the program and as you can see we are indeed able to do that so now we're going to need to use this but i'm going to show you the command cannot be processed since we're not able to download the file let me show you uh, the command for this would be uh, E, and I'm going to go ahead in here in iTunes. And of course, you need to have the uh, device connected since we need the ACID of it. These blobs are personalized, so you will need that. Okay, copy, and there we go. I'm going to close iTunes right now. And we've got the ACID. Paste it in here, leave a space, and after the ACID, we will need to write dash S for saving. Then we're going to write dash O for the OTA blobs. The OTA are separate from the normal restore ones. That's why we need to specify that. Um, the dash I in order to specify the iOS version. And um, another thing that is different compared to the normal restore blobs is the iOS version. It's not iOS 10.3.3, it's actually called 9.9.10.3.3. So 
uh, if you write 10.3.3 it might not be able to download that so I'm gonna go ahead and write 9.9.10.3.3 this will be the iOS version which is actually iOS 10.3.3 but in OTA then we're going to need to write a build ID in here and the build ID will be 14 uh, G60 if I remember okay from the uh, top of my mind then the dash D for the uh, device model and in my case it's the um, GSM version which is iPhone 6.2 in fact is a comma in here 6.2 in your case it might be 6.1 because the iPhone 5s for example comes in um, in two different flavors so to speak but of course if it's another uh, a7 device you will need to to put that in there you can find these identifiers on the ipsw.me or the iphone wiki then we're going to follow it up with the save path so save dash path and here i'm going to drop this folder which uh which should contain everything that we have for the moment it only contains the OTA JSON now this is the command that we would need in order to get the blobs let me show you what happens if you don't replace this file because this file is not where it should be for the moment so I press it says downloading the file whatever and you can see that it's actually trying to download the file we've just downloaded uh, the problem is that for some reason it's not going to do it it's not going to to download what it should um, it should be downloaded so yeah, let's wait for it to, to do its thing. Okay, so um, as you can see, it says failed to download the file uh, and failed to parse the OTA.json file. So we're not able to save the blobs. Now, I'm not entirely sure why it does that, but I know how to fix it. So you're going to have to go here on the finder, go and, uh, sorry, go and on the folder. So go to folder and you're going to have to write TMP in here. Um, slash tmp and it will go here to the file remove whatever is in here like that and open a new um, folder where you have the ota json file and drag it and drop it in this folder now it should be okay i'm going to rerun that command and you can see that it's now fixed so let me uh, rerun this command and enter and as you can see, it managed to parse everything. And I'm going to open the uh, folder. Now, keep in mind that for some reason, it uh, has a lot of duplicates. It's, it's trying to download the same blob over and over and over again. Not entirely sure why. But you can see here, it says saved SHSH blobs and iOS 10.3.3 .3 is signed for this specific device, which is good. And as you can see, now we have the blob in here. Now it's going to try and continue to download the same thing, but it's going to skip itself. I have no idea why. So we will have to pretty much close this now. I'm going to press terminate. Now I'm not entirely sure whether the blob that the TSS saver is actually fetching is um, valid. The EMG4 tool actually says it's not valid uh, for some reason, but again, I'm not entirely sure whether that program has been created so that it can parse the OTA blobs. So for the moment, there is no way you can check the blob other than simply opening it. So I'm going to try to open it in Xcode to show you exactly what it contains, although it might not work. Let me try to do that, Xcode. Xcode might be able to show it like a plist file because that's pretty much what it is. And um, yeah, it contains the important information, the hashes and so on. So I tend to believe that it might be a, a, a correctly saved OTA blob, but it's not the same thing as saving the normal SHSH blobs using the uh, TSS saver method. So you cannot really use this one uh, like you normally use it in future restore, but it's good to have it since Apple might at some point simply decide to no longer have the iOS 10.3.3 signed for the A7 devices either. There is a generator in here which makes me believe that this is a normal um, OTA blob that was saved successfully since it has a generator and anything else seems to be in here including this encrypted data in here so yeah I'm not entirely sure what's going on the EMG um, uh, 4 tool doesn't recognize it as being a correctly saved blob or a valid EMG 4 but yeah I'm not entirely sure what to say about this so yeah uh, it's a good idea to save them since as I said Apple might decide at some point to close the signing window for a7 as well since the A7 devices are currently the only devices to have the um, OTA for iOS 10.3.3 uh, signed. 
So yeah, Apple might decide to, to close that. It's a good idea to have the blob, you don't know when in the future it would be useful. But I'm not entirely sure whether you can use this with Future Restore or not, since it's an OTA blob. Anyways, that's how you save the OTA blobs, keep them somewhere safe, you don't know when you will need them. And yeah, it's just a couple minutes of procedure to do that, so yeah, it's, it's a good idea if you have an A7 device. Now, if your device has been shipped with um, iOS 7.1.1 or newer, it doesn't have, unfortunately, the iOS 10.3.3 signed, so not all A7 devices are supported. But my iPhone uh, 5S is supported, and for those of you who do have an iPhone 5S, uh, or an iPad with the A7 chip, it's a good thing to do. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated if you didn't already, I'm Geo Snow. until the next time, peace out!